There are 25 million Christians in India, little less than 3% of the total population. And yet, some parts are as densely populated with Christians as Europe or the Americas. Legend has it that Jesus lived in India. There are many well-researched books establishing that Hazrat Yus Asaf of Srinagar, the great Kashmiri saint, and Jesus were one and the same person. Indian Christianity has earned respect from the highest quarter. The father of the nation, Mahatma Gandhi, had much to say on Jesus Christ. I have great respect for Christianity. I have often read the Sermon on the Mount and have gained much from it. I know of no one who has done more for humanity than Jesus. Mera juta hai Japani ye patloon, Englishani sar pe lal to piru si fir bhi dil hai Hindustani. Local Christian girls perform the traditional Margam Kali, celebrating the arrival of St. Thomas in Kerala. The Cha 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 is as popular today as it was a hundred years ago. Here is a charming old world Goan household in the Portuguese style, which takes the breath away. No evening is complete without a lengthy discussion on the lengthy family names. This is the name. I've got a much longer one. Yeah. Got what's the long name? name? I've got Del, Renat, Luis, Oliver. <laughs> Only state in India yeah, yeah. that says that says the common upon so it. You might be a Hindu, a Catholic, or a Muslim, <coughs> but you know, the, 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 we all follow the same law. Christianity came to India's northeastern region just 125 years ago. Nagaland, one of the northeastern states, is a land of sublime natural beauty. It was home to headhunters who worshipped natural deities, which they found in every blade of grass, every flower, and every living thing. Today, the Nagas are leading a life at par with the rest of the mainstream modern India. The Divine Retreat Center at Porta, Kerala, is another place that attracts people from all over the world looking for spiritual solace and the healing of body, mind and soul. Retreats are conducted every week, attended by an average of 10,000 people wishing to experience transformation in their lives. Though only 2.5% of the population, it is estimated that Christians account for 25% of the total amount of social work conducted in India. There is a growing trend in Indian Christianity to trace the spiritual wisdom through other faiths. This tranquil ashram and many others like it have become retreats for seekers of all religions. A natural sequence to strengthen one's faith and national identity through spirituality. The success of the film Amar Akbar Antony, based on national unity, is but a reflection of the multi-faithed India. 